What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Black Armory news video. Today's video I'll be going over the This Week at Bungie post for January 25th of 2019. I know it is a Friday, usually they end up doing it on Thursdays, um, but for I believe they had a live stream go on that goes over the update 2.1.4 uh, that's going to be implemented next week. I didn't have a chance to watch it, I don't know if it actually happened or not, but essentially update 2.1.4 is the main thing of it is like fine-tuning supers right they're trying to even out some of the supers so people actually use other supers other than just the main ones things like nova war blade barrage etc 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 there's also going to be some weapon tuning in there there is a page on here that actually goes over all of these super changes and you can actually look at the previous um this week at bungie post and those also go over what's going to be changing in update 2.1.4 the purpose of this video is to go over everything in the TWAB, not just talking about update 2.1.4 the whole time, but I do want to go over everything. So Mayhem is going to be returning January 29th. I'm assuming that is next week, which is going to be pretty freaking awesome. Obviously, that ends at reset. That is going to be the rotating playlist. It kind of makes sense for them to do this, especially with the super tuning that's going to be going on with update 2.1.4 plus on january 29th we're also going to be getting the last word quest so keep that in mind i'm super high for that i'm definitely ready to get my hands on that i really miss sniping a lot man i actually did some of that this weekend um i used the bad news uh 2.0 black armory version and the twilight oath curator role oh my gosh i i miss sniping man it was a super good time but mayhem it starts next week Starting on February 12th and ending on February 19th, Crimson Days is going to be coming back. This is the Valentine's Day event. Originally, it was scheduled to start February 5th. The date has shifted, so keep that in mind. If you missed Crimson Days last year or didn't get everything you wanted, you're in luck. Basically, this is a chance to get those uh, exclusive rewards from the event. I know there's a few things like some ornament shaders. Uh, emblems you can earn so you actually have another chance at those which is pretty cool one of the sections on here actually goes over the season of the drifter and the changes to how powerful bounty rewards work i know for this past season which is the season of the forge basically people would hold on to their powerful um bounties like the iron banner ones the once bounties you can get from spider they would hold on to those uh, in the previous season, and then when Season of the Forge came up, they basically pop all those bounties and basically just power level up super fast. I know some people who hit uh, 650, which is the max power cap, within like the first week, which is completely ridiculous. It took me at least a month, like, but still, that's freaking crazy. So basically, the whole thing here, I'm just going to read the example they have. So let's say a player has completed the Wanted Silent Fang bounty during the Season of the Forge, but has not yet claimed the reward. If they claim reward after the Season of the Drifter has begun, the reward will have a maximum power of 650. So keep that in mind. Even if, I don't know if you're like 620, I don't know if it will drop at 650. It might drop at 650. They didn't really explain the wording there, but... Moving on, if they instead acquire this bounty after the season of the Drifter has begun, the reward will have a maximum power of 700. So keep that in mind. The cap is applied to bounties on acquisition. So keep that in mind there. So if you're like trying to hoard up a bunch of those powerful bounties, you cannot do that to be able to, well, I should say to be able to uh, boost your light level on the first day of the new season. They also added some new things to update 2.1.4. Number one, the Redrescript's Broadsword Quest. So going over the Valor Rank Resets, the Valor Rank Reset step will now look at previous season's accomplishments as well. Five Valor Resets are still required during a single season, but is no longer restricted to a current season. Example, if a player had five Valor Resets in Season 4, this will now grant progress toward the quest. So if you actually reset five times in Season 4 but haven't got to that step yet, you can actually just skip right on over that entire step so that's pretty cool also completion and consistencies basically they fix various issues where the quest was not progressing to the pickup step until a player re-entered orbit next enhancement course they fixed an issue that prevented an enhancement course from being awarded when reaching legend in valor and glory ranks yeah i didn't really notice that until they said it but I didn't really get any enhancement cores. Next, grenade launchers. So this is interesting. Tweet grenade launcher projectiles to feel more consistent on direct hits. Proximity grenades can no longer impact directly, prevent special ammo grenade launchers from one hitting with the perk active. So that kind of makes sense to me. I don't, I think it makes more sense for the special ones 
versus using the heavy ones. I understand the heavy ones do do more damage. Ah, do do. Sorry. <laughs> um, but um, I, I don't know if it'll work both ways. You know what I mean? So they increase ammo reserve size of special ammo grenade launchers and increase initial spawn ammo in PvE for special ammo grenade launchers. Going over the deployment time up update 2.1.4, essentially at 8 a.m., uh, Pacific time destiny 2 maintenance is scheduled to begin 845 downtime in destiny 2 will take place at this time 9 a.m. Update 1.2.1.4 will begin rolling out across all platforms and regions 10 a.m. Destiny 2 maintenance is expected to conclude and by 11 a.m. Um, Pacific time destiny commanding features will be re enabled So if you want to be right on the ball on January 29th and get it downloaded so you can hop right into the last word quest Definitely keep those things in mind and that seems to be all the news in the this week at Bungie post this week Now that we're at the end of the video There's three things I want to tell you guys So number one my clan the d1 fire team is looking for active players in the destiny community Our members play all sorts of activities from casual PvE and PvP to the end game content like any of the raid shattered throne stuff like that if you're actively playing destiny 2 and want the benefits of a bigger clan the link to join is below we're multi-platform so we have xbox ps4 and pc players all you have to do is request to join and myself or one of the admins will approve you number two if you'd like to know how to support me there's a link below that says best way to support me that'll take you to a four minute video phone go check that out that'd be awesome but if you don't want to do that you can always like this video subscribe to the channel share this video and all that like content creator good jazz if you want to do that Third thing, Discord. We have a link to the Discord below. Just a heads up, we're looking for anyone with moderator experience to potentially kind of run the Discord. It's not like super huge or anything like that, but for myself, I'm more of a player versus being a manager, you know? So I I really don't know a lot about that stuff, but if like if you are someone who can be a moderator, awesome. Just let me know. I know for myself, I'm on Xbox, but if any of you guys would like to talk to me or chat to me, Discord is going to be the best way to do that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.